Right guys, so um, this is going to be my first uh, Beast gameplay on YouTube. Um, not my first actual ever go, I did have one go before, um, but it didn't go so well because um, it's actually really buggy, so it's really hard to find people at the moment. Um, what should I play? What do I want to play? Let's go for that one. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, it's really buggy at the moment, it keeps sending zero people. I've said this now in my two hour videos, but I've seen it for anybody else. Um, so yeah, um, there are a lot of people trying to search for it, but it seems to be take ages to find any player. Um, but I have eventually got a game with five people, so um, I thought I'd do a video on it. What's some of the game? So I have had one go at this, like I said. I'm not very good at it. You have to kill the heroes, as they call them, within an allotted amount of time. And there's the heroes there. And there we go. And I went with. I do not know. Ah, the Savage Dream, because that seems to be the easiest way to go about this. There's the other players, all oh, tickers apparently. I actually tried to use them, but I don't seem to be able to blow them up in time. I can't control the retro lancer, it's got too much recoil. And same as in horde mode, if, if you walk through the fences here, it um, hurts you and it's you take a long time to get through it. So I actually find this savage drone is the easiest one to start off with. Because obviously it's just like you would a multiplayer, but the only thing you do have is a retro lancer. Um, let's go for the ticker this time, just because uh, let's go for something actually different. See, there we go. The time I've got 32 seconds, or well, we've got 32 seconds to kill that last one. And see, it's got destroyed and destroyed is how many uh, fortifications you've destroyed. So like those little small uh, fences or. I can't remember what it, what's it called, uh, I can't remember think of it, when they put spike strips out for cars, it kind of looks like that. Um, let's go for a butcher. I'm just trying to go for all the characters really to show you. So you can run, he's got a melee attack, and I think it says RT as well. They seem to be exactly the same now, yeah. So they have very limited attacks, but that's the whole point. Um, some of our, yeah, I think the most they have is two. Maybe should use a tick on it, but and obviously the butcher is quite strong. And pretty slow, but he can take a bit of a take a bit of a beating and get some down in one hit, apparently. And that uh, red thing in the middle is basically like your cog sign. Oh, show uh, hopefully sure to die in really. So that's wave two complete, and it does get increasingly harder. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to start getting really hard because I haven't played this too much. And there you go, there's the unlocks up to the next tier, and you can get to the really highest tiers like Berserker and stuff. But I'm only 48% up there so far. This is, of course, there's a wild ticker as well that doesn't have explosives on it, but I find they're not too great, and they're really frail as it actually says in the description. Oh, and then he went to go blow him. <laughs> Took a downed enemy. That was it. That was my life. And you actually spend money as well um, when you keep use it. So you preferably don't want to keep dying even over on the more expensive characters, because then you have to go back down to lower characters. So if you keep dying with a berserker over and over and over really fast, then you'll basically then you'll lose all your money because you'll be spending tons of it, and then you have to go back down to lower characters, which is going to affect you later on when you need the really high powered characters. So our total time is 2 minutes 33. So far, um, what else can I choose? I'm hoping this won't take absolutely ages. Not, not that I don't want it to, but um, it's going to take me ages to upload. So, so it shows there who was chosen what. So I'm going to go for the ticker again. Just because they're cheap and they're quick easy kills. I mean the bush is too slow later on. Which I did try on the one game I did get into.
And you don't want to. The fortifications are real pain in the ass. Oh yes, that she got it. I know somebody using a turret or NPC or whatever, AI, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I think I prefer horde mode over beast mode, but it's definitely good. Oh, well, I've uh, played more of horde mode so far, so I think it's going to get really good when I start to unlock these uh, more powerful characters or locusts. Because um, yeah, I've only tried the first tier so far. So we have one person's actually left now, so we've got... No, they haven't, no, nope. I thought it said Commander Dom then. <laughs> it says Commander something. Oh, never mind, they killed the person I was gonna blow up. See now we've got basically 20 seconds now. 27 if I... Ah, right, you get time increase for kills and stuff, but... It's basically the same, now we've got 25 seconds to kill one enemy, which we should do pretty easily. And he's behind a fortification. No, he's not. That was someone else. <laughs> they know they cannot win. What a douchebag. Alright, so uh, let's see what percentage I am now. And of course, in it, when it shows, can wait, it shows you. Ah, there we go. So, no, you don't. But anyway, yeah, it shows you them, what they're doing and stuff. Um, how much? There's 75 each. Um, 225. Let's see. Ah oh, right, so that savage drone is actually the most, which kind of makes sense, I guess. But I'm actually going to go with it. I just can't control the retro lancer very well. Oh, he's got so much recoil. If it was the normal lancer, I would be using this one a lot more. And that's the waller. Wow, he just went through it. Whoa. Oh. Did somebody take my kill? <laughs> oh, and there's a mech there. Somebody's already got the silver back on the AI team. Whoops. Do I have to execute them or? Yeah, you have to go and execute them with uh, this character. So I can't really get through there. So I, there's some characters that are like the wretch are and the ticker that are really good with getting through the fortifications. I'm not sure what we're hitting here. <laughs> okay, sure. Wow. <laughs> One kill. Oh, hopefully, um, I hopefully I've unlocked the next tier. So now it's 11 humans, so it gets increasingly harder. There we go. So we've got Cantus at $975, Bloodman $750, and Mauler. I'm actually going to go with the Mauler. Even though I think I'm actually going to die pretty easy, because he's so slow. Even though he can run, he's still pretty slow. And of course, for anybody who hasn't quite noticed, I'm sure you have, this is a gridlock map um, from Gears of War 1 and 2. Obviously, not identical, they have changed it. You see the huts, the huts, um, the buildings are all different, everything, and the lighting as well. But I think it looks really nice. Um, if you look at my graphics comparison video, you'll see that it does look a lot better. Not really sure what I'm doing here. Wow. Oh. Right, okay. 
Oh, I did get, I don't know, a couple of kills, I think. Let's go with a Cantus. I don't think they do much apart from they obviously have this weapon, but I think a lot of it is healing. And I should have looked at the bottom because I don't know how to do that if I need to. I want the armored Cantus, that looks pretty sick. Oh, right, you can't actually. Oh, yeah, you can't go and cover, I forgot one. With a Cantus. And also, you don't regenerate your health. If you notice, I'm not regenerating health. Ah, that's how I do it. Ah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, we've done this way pretty much. So I'm actually gonna. Ah, there it is. Heal slash revive screen. And ah, oh, and there's an evade button. That probably would help. Sick. I don't want to spend any money because I know we're going to kill this last one now. It's the last one. So I'm going to have hold off a second. Actually, we ain't got a lot actually. I better do it. Let's go with Blood Mine. They're pretty fast. Oh, oh, no. Why did I wait? I was thinking they would have killed it easily by now. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Spent the money for no reason then. And what should I go for now? Let's go for the blood mine again. So what's he got? Run, melee attack, spot for rider. What's that mean? No idea what that means. Is that just a spotting like it is in the multiplayer? I have no idea. Ah right, ah right, okay I see. So you're clicking spot and ah, then then my cat then the guy on top which I'm not controlling was shooting. Okay. That was kind of obvious, I didn't know I didn't think it didn't think it didn't know. Okay, probably help if I didn't try to get through something I can't get through. Yay, I got a kill with him. Okay, that's two kills, that's not too bad. See, now they've got these uh, laser fortifications which are much more powerful. Whoa, headshot from a Baltic pistol. Um, what should we do for now? Let's go for a savage drone again. See, there's only a couple left and I want to spend all the money I have. Well, not all of it, but a large chunk of it anyway. That's just... Uh, oh yeah, and they've got turrets now. They build up their fortification really quick. So this is actually going to take me a while to upload, so I'm going to have to do it in parts because it's already reached pretty much 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to do this in a few parts for us, okay. Um, so 35%. Let's see what's on the one below. All oh, right, some of them have already unlocked the next two, you can see there. Wow. Um, let's just go for the blood mine again. That wasn't a bad choice. Look, there, they've got a, a baby corpse there. I mean, it is. Ah, oh, save it to get one more kill then. And I'm going to go for Cantus. I just like to keep changing out, really. And if we want an ink grenade, let's use that. What's that out there? Ah, right, that's his health. Right, okay. 